Hello and welcome again. It's me, Mr. D, back here with our happy little taco. And in this video, we'll be working on round nine. Next to the last rounds of the taco shell. So in this round, we'll be single crocheting in seven and then following that with an increase. At the end of round nine, we'll end up with 54 single crochets all the way around. that yarn and then try to interrupt us again. <clears throat> May have to deal with it on this video. That'll be all right. Because untangling your yarn is a real issue that comes up from time to time. Especially as you get near the end of a skein of yarn and uh, <laughs> Things are real loose and uh, one end is trying to get tied up with the other. So we're trying to keep this in the frame here. As you can see that the working yarn here is going under and through and around and the rest of the skein. don't like to waste yarn if I can help it. I think a lot of crocheters and knitters people in what's called the fiber arts they don't they don't like to waste their yarn they even have projects called stash busters that allow us to use smaller amounts of yarn so that we can use them up together to help use up our stash in an efficient way in a complete way. I don't think that's a terrible problem to have. So you want to uh, use your resources wisely to uh, not be wasteful. I don't think that's a problem. I think that's a good, a good problem to have, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. It's a little easier to figure things out when you're actually right there with the yarn and you can see what's going on and feel it. Uh, hopefully I'm not going through this too quickly, but I am trying to get us back into uh, finishing round nine. Let's see how much free yarn we have now. Okay, let's get back to it.
One thing about working in the round uh, and with an, an even increase is that you get a little swirl pattern kind of into the, the piece, which is okay. But if you want to eliminate that, you can. what you can do is put your increase in different places on each round rather than in the same place. And when you put them in the same place like we've been doing for this project, you end up getting little swirls. I don't mind the swirls. Sometimes they look pretty cool. Um, especially if you're making a flying disc like a crow flyer frisbee type of thing. That can add a neat little pattern into the fabric itself. I don't mind it on the on this little happy taco either it gets folded up near the end and that kind of hides the spiral a little bit. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Now there's seven. And there's seven. Okay, so, well, <laughs> looks like we've uh, gone past round nine and into round ten. I'll tell you what, let's just make this a round nine and a round ten video. What do you say? We'll do it. All right, so we're into round ten, and in this, you're going to end up having eight single crochets and then an increase well I've misspoken haven't I <laughs> we just got to the end of round nine well that'll work too that'll work too yep we got seven and here, yep, like I said, end of round nine. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon, and bye for now.